Tu se ka mia, let me tell you something. You are now a big girl, you know? Don't be sitting like that. That is what small little girls sit like, exposing your legs like this. You should, you should take care of her. She's, she's your gold, you know? You have to keep yourself a virgin, otherwise no man will want you. You don't want to end up alone. And when you get your husband, you have to give him every day. Otherwise he will go everywhere searching for someone who will give him. But you have to take good care of your man of your husband and before you get your husband you have to keep yourself a virgin only a virgin is valuable to the man don't break your virginity give yourself to some other stupid man who will go away and forget you and then you will have lost everything do you think any man will want you no they will go and search for other virgins you know take Good care of yourself. Wash yourself twice a day. Change your pads. These are important things. No man wants a girl who is smelling down there. Take good care of yourself. Karin, sag mal, habt ihr schon Sexualkunde in der Schule gehabt? Ah, schön. Freut mich. Ich hab da ein Buch für dich, äh Kannst du mal vielleicht durchgucken, könnte behilflich sein. Soll eigentlich ganz gut sein. Okay? Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things, all the bad things. Yo, what's up guys? It's Rosebud and welcome to my channel. I hope you're fine, I hope you're great. And I hope this video finds you well. Yes, today we are taking a little bit of our time and talk about something serious <laughs> yes we are talking about sex education i want to compare sex education in kenya versus in germany well this is because i have a daughter who is 14 and this is like the time when a parent has to sit down with your pubertin child boy or girl and have the talk Yes, and I realized this talk is done, carried out differently in Kenya and in Germany. It's Sex education is both in Kenya and in Germany a very important topic. And it's taken care of both at home and at school. And starting with Kenya, well, in Kenya, Sex is that topic which is associated with all kinds of evil, devil, immorality. And you can imagine when a guardian is going to address the topic, whether it's a teacher or a parent, the discussion will kind of tend to go in that direction. Usually in Kenya, mostly girls are the ones who are being taught about sexuality and this is usually either by their mothers or their aunties. Aunties are very important people when it comes to sex education. Without the aunties, most girls in Kenya would not know anything. Without the aunties, there would be a vacuum, there would be a vacuum, there would be a, just a hole of um, lack of information in the female generations in Kenya. So aunties are really important when it comes to sex education in Kenya. So the aunties will sit down with the girls usually at the age of, age of 10 to 14 to 15 and they will teach them about the body changes, they will teach them about puberty. That means they will tell them about the yeah, growth of some body parts which were not there. They will tell you about the pain that you might experience when your boobs are growing. They will tell you about, not to get surprised about the hair that might appear in places that it wasn't before. They will inform you about how to take care of yourself 
during your menstrual period they will yeah give you directions on how to go about your hygiene mm -hmm. both in the days your your menstruation and without your menstruation they will they will teach you about the puberty like in a real practical way the aunties will also teach the girls about um household Houseworking, and this is more associated in um, how to please your husband kind of way. I mean, I, I I take it as housework because it will be how to clean and how to cook. But in every sentence, your auntie will be talking to you. It will be like. When you're cleaning for your husband, do these and these and these. When you're cooking for your husband, it's done like these and these and these. When you're talking to your husband, this is the way to go about it. So, I, I, it's, it's like housework, but it's more addressed on how to please your husband. So the aunties and the mothers, even the grandmothers, will prepare the little girls for their, their future role as a wife. And this also includes pleasing the man in the bedroom. They will tell you what men like in the bedroom. They will tell you about how uh, your husband's reaction to such and such a kind of uh, movement position. And uh, they will give you about details about, yeah, how it should be done. And examples of how it shouldn't be done. Yeah, in some in some tribes, however, there are also aunties who are responsible to taking care of the female area of the little girl because they believe it has to be prepped. It's called pooling. Um, I have heard of it severally that mm. girls have their lips, <laughs> hope you know what I mean, a little bit pulled by their aunties in order to make them more appealing to their future husbands. So this is all done by the aunties and the mothers and the grandmothers. All the older females in the family, they take this role very seriously. So, so like I said, the, these are the topics with the aunties talk to you about. In school in Kenya, however, you have the sex education topic during the biology classes where the teacher will teach you about the anatomy of the woman, the anatomy of the man, the parts which will change, the hormonal changes where we have the luteinizing hormones and uh, all the estrogen and pro progesterones which are uh, going up and down. They learn about the menstrual period, uh, they learn about pregnancy, they learn about fertilization, they learn about um, safe sex and um, and all that important part. The problem is when sex education is taught in school, it's a class of like 30 kids. Each of these kids is different and the teacher is just talking so general that it might not resonate with each and every child in the class. But anyway, it's taught and um, yeah, and then the teacher makes a mark, done. It's, it's a very uncomfortable class, doesn't matter. So let's go to Germany. So in Germany, on the other hand, there are not aunties and grandmothers who are going to teach the girls about sex, about puberty, but the mothers are the ones who take their girls and talk to them about these topics. I don't know really how many do it. I guess not so many. Whereas in Kenya, almost every girl undergoes this kind of, yeah, practical lessons. In Germany, it's a little bit reluctant. It's not, it's not usual. It's not like a larger percentage of mothers who take this topic 
to their hands and sit down with their daughters and talk to them about everything. Well, most of them assume that these topics are catered for at school. They are mothers who will ask the children, have you talked about puberty in school? Have you talked about sex and safe sex at school? And when the child says yes, which sometimes they might just say because it's just an uncomfortable topic, then they say, okay, good, so you're informed, fine, nice, thank you. In school, in Germany, it's a very serious topic. It's uh, done with videos and books. It's quite, it's quite involving and a little bit more in the practical way than it's done in Kenya. In Kenya, it just, it just stands in front and uh, talks to the kids. In Germany, it's a little bit more uh, in a practical way. They get many books, they get many posters, they get videos, they have um, the instruments sometimes where they can see whatever the teacher is talking about. If he's talking about the condom, if he's talking about the the spiral is talking about the appeal so that the kids can actually see what it is he's talking about. Yeah. The topics the children kids taught in school involve the puberty, that means the changes in the body. It involves pregnancies and death or safe sex. It involves all kinds of uh, protections. It involves STDs, it involves um, pregnancy interruptions. So in conclusion, I can say that it's really nice that in both countries this topic is taken quite seriously. What I find a little bit of a pity is that in Kenya the sex education uh, does not involve the day-to-day -day normal experiences which girls and boys face and I mean these like um, STDs, how to protect yourself from STDs, what kind of STDs they are, protection because mm -hmm. if you have a for example a Catholic school which does not believe in protection and they will not touch that topic at all. So it's kind of excluded from all curriculum and from all topics, even in the homes. So no one will talk to their kids about the protection part, which is very important when you want to talk about avoiding early pregnancies and avoiding STDs. So it's, it's a little of a pity, but there are people who talk about it and it's so nice that they do. And another thing which is also avoided uh, to be talked about in Kenya is also pregnancy interruptions in case of such an occurrence. So any kind of abortion is like not mentioned. No one talks to you about it. But if you see how many girls go to, I don't know, rural doctors to get an abortion because no one really informed them of any other way or any other option it's it's kind of sad so these three topics could be involved more in the kenyan sex education and in the german in the german sex education i would love that the family is more involved the mothers the fathers the aunties, the uncles, the grandmother, that they teach the kids from home because the school is taking care of all the children but your child is a special child with special needs and special interests and I think it's nice if they have someone catering to them personally and not just that the child who talks to the other kids. Yeah, that would be nice if the, yeah, the parents in Germany would also yeah be involved in the sex education just like in Kenya they are. Yeah otherwise um that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. If there were questions which arose from whichever kind of topic let me know in the comments below. Otherwise please stay safe and stay blessed. Till next time. Ciao